Hi, it's Rob again, and today I'm going to be telling you a little bit more about the NPW DMX snapshot controller from Nlight. And this is the little hardware here, and I have it here in our demo case. And I'm going to be showing you specifically what it looks like in sensor view and in Passcape and the different bits that you will see on the hardware. Now, quick, a quick overview of the hardware. On the top left side, you have the power over Ethernet connection, which you will use to see the device with Passcape. And if you're not using PoE down in the lower left, you're going to have to give it 24 volts. But you can use PoE to power up the two end light jacks, which are along the top side here. Both of those contribute 40 milliamps to the end light bus. In the very top right hand side, there's a contact closure. We will discuss that as we see it in Passcape. And of course, the two DMX512 ports, which can be configured as inputs and outputs. And they have the removable connectors, either compression screw or my favorite, the IDC, the Installation Displacement Contact Connector, which is great when you're using solid core category cable because there's so much less stripping and you get a very good contact. So check those things out. We also discussed in the last video the test button and if you hold the factory reset for five seconds, you're going to be back at square one. So. Uh, the Passcape software, when you open it up, you will see hopefully your Nlight snapshot controller here. And if you don't have a green padlock, don't forget to hit the login button. Look at other videos on the Pathway Connectivity YouTube channel for information on the uh, security domains and other features of Passcape where things are like the properties window here, the transaction editor down here, and the message viewer over here. If you open up by clicking on this arrow here, you will see the different components that I spoke about in the hardware. There are the two DMX ports, the contact closure, and then there is the array of 16 Nlight outputs, and that is Nlight network talking to the red pathway network to drive DMX snapshots. And you can see right now the position, they're all at zero. So none of them are outputting at this point. You also have the opposite direction, the red pathway network pushing the Nlight network. And those are the wall pods. So we will discuss those in a minute as well as the 16 scenes where Passcape network, DMX gear, vignette controllers can trigger scenes on your Nlight network, including local channels and global channels speaking to the Eclipse. Uh, over on sensor view, as you expand the NPW DMX, you will see the 16 outputs uh, which will then map to these 16 outputs here, which can either be DMX snapshots for universe snapshots or zones. And we'll look at those in a little bit in a subsequent video. And when you highlight the input, which is a different serial number, you will see the 16 scenes or you will see 16 wall pod channels, which equate to scenes or wall pods here. So again, this is where a vignette or a DMX console wants to broadcast onto the Nlight network. Uh, and then different devices can react to the profile scenes, the preset scenes, local, global, or just running channels. So um, one of the nice things is that the labels are shared between the two. So if I went into here and I changed output one to um, just white light and I save that, you will see within a second or two, it will pop up over here on Passcape and you'll see it says white light. So the commissioning person can either be a sensor view expert and line everything up, or you could do it the opposite way around and I could uh, output 
this guy here and I can name him um, Halloween and I'll send that transaction off in Passcape and then when I come over to sensor view we'll see a warning here saying settings were changed and then you have the option to synchronize and if you synchronize from the device then you will see the label Halloween come in here. Now, why did I call this Halloween? Because earlier, and you will see in a later video, that I have programmed this to be some sort of DMX level. So if I go into the device overview and I turn this on, I get a array of oranges and yellows, which sort of reminds me of Halloween. Uh, and if I went and I looked down at output three, uh, I've already pre-programmed in here the red, white, and blue being a bit patriotic. So let's put in here a, a tag called flag. I'll save that there. And if I come over here, I automatically see the label has come in flag and I can see its position right now is at 100%. If I come back here and I turn it off, it will fade out there and you see the position fade out here as well. Now, when you look in the channel controls right now, I only have my on local channel one. I only have my Neo, which is my white light uh, tracking channel one. And I also had my NPOD M2P, which is this guy here, broadcasting on channel one. So if I bring this up, I get my white Neo light. And if I turn that out, then it goes to zero. Now I have the option of tracking my output number one, which is my white light here. And if I save that here, when I press the button here, I not only get this white light, but I also get the white lights on the LED. Let me turn that off here. Now, you can see here that Halloween is tracking on NPOD M pole two. So when I turn this on, the Neo comes up and the Halloween comes up. So let's turn that off. And what I'm actually thinking is I don't want the Neo to come up in this case. And I really don't want Halloween to come up, but I want the flag to come up when I do this. So now poll two will just bring up my flag snapshot and I could pull it out like that. So really what I want to show here is the sharing of the labels, the names, how you can set in one or you can set in the other. And just like many other n -like devices, you have the ability to uh, track the outputs. Uh, we will discuss how to record the snapshots later. And you can also, instead of just using switch channels, you can also use occupancy channels and photo cells like you have been doing with Nlight for years. So in the next video, we're going to have a closer look of how to record some snapshots and we'll carry on from there.